Hello viewers, my name is Mr. Adivanjo and I want to strongly welcome you to today's uh, teaching on uh, plane geometry and we are still discussing triangles and in the previous video we have done, we have talked about uh, different theorems we have in triangles such as uh, some of angular triangles is equal to 180 degrees. Also, we have also talked about uh, that uh, the exterior angle of a triangle is equal to the sum of the two opposite interior angles of that triangle. And we have also talked about uh, that the base angle of associated triangles are equal. And uh, please, if you have not watched that video, please go back to that video, those videos, and watch them so that you can understand what will be how we are going to be solving these questions. I'm going to be using those theorem to solve question now in this video. And the first question I'm going to be solving is the one you're having on the screen right now. The question says find the value of x and uh, x and hence the interior angles of 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 the triangle ABC. Interior angles of triangle ABC. As if you have to find the, this angle inside here, then this angle here, and the one inside as well. So we have to find those interior angles. Angle B here, angle C here, and angle A here inside the triangle ABC. But the question asks us to find the value of x first. That means we need to find the value of this x you're having here before you can find the interior angles of that triangle ABC. Of course, what can you see in this, you know, this question? You can see that this is a straight line. This is a straight line here, another straight line, another straight line. So all these three straight lines join together. And to form a triangle A, B, C. Now, but this triangle is having exterior angles. You can see that this line is extended here, and this one is also extended here. So an angle is formed here, which is outside the triangle. Also, this angle here is also formed outside the triangle as well. Then this third angle also is also formed outside the triangle. But our aim is to find the value of x. But if you look at the, if you remember the video we did on the line geometry. It's called that this angle here, angle 2x here, and the angle inside here are equal. The angle 2x here and the angle inside the triangle here at C here are equal, reason vertically opposite. I, I, in that video, I described, I told you how you can find vertically opposite angles. So this angle here and this angle here are equal, vertically opposite angle. That's what you're having here, angle ACB. Angle ACB. That's this angle inside here is 2x, reason being that vertically opposite. Also, this one as well. We have one that this angle here is 3A, 3X. Rather. This angle here is 3X. You can see that this angle here as well and the angle inside this triangle here is they are also equal. Reason being that they are also vertically opposite angle. Now we are having that angle BAC, angle B, A, then C. This angle here is 3 is also vertically opposite. Then if that should be the case as well, that means that this triangle ABC, we now have an angle here another angle here so you are left with this angle that is here so but if you are now having triangle abc now two angles inside it if you look at the theorem we talked about in the last video that the exterior angle of a triangle exterior angle here of a triangle is equal to the sum of the two opposite interior angles that is this angle here and this angle here should be equal to this angle that is here and that's what we are having here that 180 minus 4s which is this exterior angle is equals to 2x which we got here in this inside here and the 3 here which we got we got here so that we are having here and the reason being that exterior angle of a triangle is equals to sum of the two opposite interior angles so we have 180 minus 4 equals to 2x plus 3x so if you collect like, like, collect like terms you have 2x plus 3x that will give us 5x here then 180 minus 4 equals to 5x then if you collect like time take this 4x to the other side you have 180 equals to 5x plus 4x 180 is equal to 9x. Divide both sides by 9. We give you get your hex by 180 divided by 9. That gives us 20 degrees. So that means our value of our x here is 20, de you know, 20 degrees. So, but the question says you should find the value of x, which is 20 degrees, and also we should find the interior angles of that triangles, right, uh, of that triangle. So, angle BAC, angle BAC. This angle here is a uh, 3s. So to get the angle that is here, you have 3 times 20. 3 times 20, that gives us 60. That means this angle here inside here is 20 degrees. This angle here is 2x. That means uh, 2x times, that is 2 times 20, that gives us 40 degrees as well. 
and also we know that uh, these angles here yes, we have already gotten this angle here as a 60 this one as 20 and we know that the sum of angles in this triangle should be what 180 degrees so so find this angle a b c this angle here inside the triangle you have angle a b c plus angle 20 40 degrees we have here and 60 degrees here and some of that is some of angle in a triangle and that's what we're having here right now so then you can now find the value of a b c from there as 180 minus 40 plus 40 here will give us 100. Take this 100 to the other side. We have 180 minus 100. That will give us 80 degrees. So that made angle B here is what? 80 degrees. Then another question we'll be solving is the one we're having on the screen right now. We are having this diagram. And uh, you have to find the value of X. Giving this angle 3X here. Uh, angle 2X plus 20. And we are giving this exterior angle as a 200 minus 4X. If you can see that this is a triangle PQR having a stereo angle for 200 minus 4x. So what can you see? see? Based on the theorem we have talked about in the last uh, last video, that uh, the stereo angle of a triangle is equal to the sum of the two opposite interior angles of that triangle. So it means that this angle here is equal to the addition of this angle and this angle. So that means you have 200 minus 4x is equal to 3x plus 2x plus 20. That's what you're having here. And from there, you can uh, collect light time and simpl simplify further. 3x plus 2x will give us 5x plus 20. That's what you're having here. Collect light times. Take this 200 to this side and take this 5x to this side. You have minus 4x here. Then minus 5, well, this plus 5x, get, when it gets here, it becomes minus 5x equals to 20. Then 200 go to this side, become minus 200. That means you have minus 4x minus 5x, that gives us minus 9x is equals to 20 minus 200, that gives us minus 1, 180. Then the variable start by minus 9, and that will give us 20. Our x is 20, as far as that question is concerned as well. And also, look at this third question. We have to find the value of x and y from the diagram below. You can see that this question is quite different from the one we have been solving since. Why? This is a straight line, and you have an arrow on it. Another straight line, and you have an arrow on it. That means this line are parallel lines. These two lines are parallel lines. If you have watched the video on parallel lines before, you understand what I'm trying to say. Parallel lines. Then if you look at this line, this straight line that is like this, is joining those two parallel lines together. That means that line is a line of what? Line of transversal. Then this angle here is 45 degrees, touching this parallel line. That means that angle, 45 degrees, has a relationship with this angle X here. You should be able to tell us the reason. Angle S here is what 45 degrees. This angle 45 and angle S they are the equal. So the reason being that uh, they are what alternate angles. If you don't understand that, please go back to um, parallel geometry. We talk we have talked about that as well. Angle S and angle this angle here are alternate angles. So S is equal to 45 degrees. Then if that should be the case now, this angle Z here and this angle 126 degrees they are on the straight line. They are sum of angle on the straight line. We have also, we have, we have also talked about that in. Uh, line geometry that angle on a straight line are what are equals to 180 degrees so this angle z plus angle 126 should give us 180 degrees and that's what we are having here the angle z plus 126 degrees equals to 180 angles on a straight line from there you can find our z by removing 126 from 180 and that will give us 54 so that means angle z there is 54 degrees so also you can see that this is a triangle this is triangle here and inside that triangle we have you have this angle and this angle here z so but you should know that this one y here is a serial angle to this triangle this triangle you're having here since we already have this angle z and angle x you should know that uh, the exterior angle of a triangle is equal to the sum of the two opposite interior angle so it means our angle y is equal to angle s plus z exterior angle of a triangle is equal to sum of opposite sum of the two opposite interior angles so that means y is equal to our z x is 45 and our z is 54 and if you add them together that means our y is 99 degrees so i hope you understand what you have uh, uh explained in this uh uh this video using the theorems you have learned so far in a plane geometry whether in the parallel in parallel geometry or straight line geometry or uh, triangles all these th all these uh, in theorem theorems are interwoven so you are once you know one you can use them to solve questions in another one so please and please if you understand this feel free to comment on it like the video share the videos if you have not subscribed to our youtube channel please do that 
so that you can receive notification whenever we are